Which golf GPS device could help your game the most? A watch, a laser, or even a handheld voice device? Let's find out, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please make sure you don't leave before you do consider hitting that subscribe button below because on this channel, I bring you guys golf related content every single day, hopefully to help you raise your game, mainly to help you lower that handicap, but generally just get you enjoying golf loads more. In today's video, first of all guys, I would like to say I have a huge giveaway in this video. I'm giving away a Golf Buddy W10 GPS, a Golf Buddy L10 V GPS, and also a Golf Buddy V10 GPS. So guys, all you have to do, you have to comment below, and you have to comment below which device you would prefer. Obviously, you have to be a subscriber to the channel, and you also have to do me a favor and like this video. So comment below either watch, comment below laser, or comment below voice. And I'm gonna give you a bit of a clue, guys, as well. I don't care how many times you enter. If you want to enter voice, if you want to enter watch, if you want to enter laser, do it 10 times each for all I care because that helps boost the video and it helps give more people a chance of winning. But there's one question to be asked. Which one would I prefer? Let's find out. So guys, as you can tell today, we are not at Huddersfield Golf Club to do this review. We are at Heritage Golf Club in Mauritius. This is the home of the Afrasia Mauritius Open. It's gonna be held here in a couple of weeks time. So the course is in immaculate condition and it's perfect to test all these brand new GPS devices from golf. But as you can see, I'm set up with the watch on my wrist. I'm set up with the voice on my hat. It's vibrating, telling me something. It's vibrated that I've walked onto the next tee which I quite like actually. We are now on the 12th tee, although I must say that could well have happened when I was stood over the shop. But anyway, so this isn't a paid review. This isn't an advert. This is an honest review of the brand new Golf Buddy AIM range. So guys, I must say, I've always been a huge fan just of laser devices. I'm stood here on the 12th tee, and if I put this in scan mode, I aim at a bunker and it tells me I have 260, 267, two, it even talks to me. One thing which the L10V does is talk to you as well as give you the distance. So if I aim it at something, it'll tell me visually on the screen and it'll also also tell me there. So if you are in a match, you might want to turn that off. But I quite like that because I'm quite lazy. Also, we obviously have have this. See, so that gives me to the green center. It's not ideal if you want to know how far away a hazard is. And as for the watch, that's doing a similar thing. It's telling me that the green is 351 yards away. So gotta be three wood on the basis of the distance that the bunker is. So is that saving me shots already? Now I've got to say as well, the watch, although when I took it out of the box, I was very, very happy with it. It looked really stylish. I'm not a fan of playing golf in a watch. It's never been me. It just doesn't feel kind of right, you know what I mean? And that should be just short of the bunker, which it is. Now, I know what you're all thinking, because when you're looking at GPS devices, budget's a big issue, isn't it? So how much do they all cost? So the laser device, you are talking 299. The watch I found on the American Golf website at 269. And as for the voice, where's the button? It's not gonna tell you the price, but you can pick it up for around 99 pounds. So you kind of get what you pay for. How far to the center? 332. And I've got to say one thing I am massively impressed with with both the watch and the voice device that I'm wearing on the cap. I'm gonna stop pressing that now because it's interrupting me a little bit. Center. Come on, okay. All right, okay. So one thing I was massively impressed with is the first time I loaded the watch up, it didn't find me. We started on the 10th hole, which I know sometimes can be an issue for GPS devices and uh, you're having a chuckle, weren't you, Tom? Because uh, I paid all this money for a watch and it wasn't working in Mauritius. But luckily, second time round, it found it straight away and we're good to go. So as you can see here, guys, I've got my tee shot and it is short of the bunkers, which I kind of planned for. So that's where off the tee, the lasers helped me massively. Obviously with the watch and with the voice device, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So how far have we got? So from the ball, the watch is telling me we have 106 yards. The voice, 
See, this seems to take longer than I would like. 104 yards to green. That's a little bit too much for me. Just I don't need to know the whole number every time I'm on it. As for the laser, 92 yards flag. So again, this is proven invaluable. If I went 106 as opposed to 92, well, I'm going to be 14, is it? It would be a long way away. 92 yards. See, I don't need to know. I know, I'm on hole 12. I've got too much going on in my head here. <laughs> right, 92 yards. Okay, so we're now safely on the green and you'd think that actually these aren't going to really help me here but it does tell me actually that we are on the green so that's a nice bonus I suppose isn't it? Yeah, um, on the green. So you can also put putting stats into this, into the watch should I say. And you can also put your scores into the watch. For me I love that, I think if you can get that into some kind of database afterwards if you can I'll pop that below because I've not done as much research as probably I should have done on that. But I like that, I like how you get the electronic scorecard and I like how you can keep a few stats. Let's see if we can make a birdie. So I'm trying to give them all a bit of a fair test to be fair. So I still have the watch on my body, still have the voice on my body, and I've got the laser in my pocket. Obviously you wouldn't always leave a laser in your pocket, but I'm trying to give them, like I said, a fair test, keep them on and around my person. Let's see if we can make a three. Six. We'll take four. Hole changed, hole 13, and it has just asked me to put the scores in. Let's see how I get back to do that. There's the time. Go across, go up there. Score. So that was hole 13. And in fact, no, sorry, that wasn't hole 13, was it? That was hole, was it hole 12? It was a par 4, and there was two putts. That's done. Move on. Easy as that. Okay, so hole 13, what a hole this is, by the way. You're here at the Heritage Resort in Mauritius, again, home of the Afrasia Mauritius Open. If you do want to see people play this course properly, then tune into Sky Sports in December. But until then, let's play this 13th hole because we have... Hole number 13, 160 yards to green centre. So that's interesting because the watch here is telling me that I have 165 yards to the centre. And you think they work off the same GPS, so obviously you do get a bit of a screen on here as well that you can see, mind my hat hair. And that's telling me 160 middle, 179 back, 148 front. Whereas the watch is telling me 183 back, 165 middle, 148 front. So I know it's only small margins, but surely they've got to be the same, haven't they? What about the laser? The laser. <laughs> Remember that? So the laser is telling me... Oh, I've got a wobbly hand. 160. I'm just telling me, it's telling you, 165 yards to the flag and it has also got slope mode on here so I can turn that on or I can turn that off depending on if you are playing in competition or not to me that is invaluable because I don't play in many competitions I'm not that good, I play for enjoyment and I would like to know the best number possible and I know that that is... see there I just tapped it and it's not telling you I know the yardage is 162 but I know it's playing 160 yards 8 am Be good. Be the number. 160. The number's right. The number is absolutely bang on. So I've got the right club, I've got the right gradient. The wind was okay as well. Obviously these devices don't tell you wind because that would be against the rules of golf. Now I just need to work on aim. So I've got to say, wearing the watch, I'm a couple of holes in. I don't particularly mind it actually. I'm not gonna lie, I did wear it to dinner last night and we're on a big golf trip with the guys from American Golf. So we're really enjoying it. and. It does look quite cool actually, it almost looks like a bit of a... I get like a Tommy Hilfiger vibe from that, but anyway, that is what it is. It does also come with a black strap, a plastic rubbery strap. But I imagine that's going to get quite sweaty, especially in Mauritius, so... Bear that in mind. By the way, also, if you wear this to dinner, it just screams, I am a golfer. Which sometimes is a nice vibe, and other times... Do you want to keep it on the DL? I've left my razor on the tee. Nightmare. That's one thing in it where you're not going to leave that and you're not going to leave that. And honestly, guys, I haven't, the guys will tell you, have I done that on purpose? You haven't. I haven't, I've just forgot it. Just so silly, aren't you? Chances of me, 
who here guys comment below who here has lost a bushnell or a garmin or a golf buddy i haven't but i've been very very close also guys while we're commenting below make sure you comment below which one you would like to win would you like to win the watch would you like to win the voice or would you like to win the laser that is back up on the tee so far this might surprise you which one i'm airing towards so stay tuned well that could be 299 wasted quite quickly couldn't it so i should say guys in defense of that in defense of that it does come with where have i put it it does come with its own little case which you can fasten onto your bag i'm going to go for this one i suggest that you you do that and then it's nice and safe isn't it let's put that on there we go <laughs> and there you go as you can see i have been using the bushnell for quite a long time that's looking absolutely old and battered could it be being replaced with that now you see here the watch the watch moved on already it says we're on hole 14 which is the par 5 coming up uh that's a little bit annoying One thing I do like a little bit is that for this par 5 next up, as you can see here, we do have a map of the hole. I just slid to the left there, and that's what we get. We get a lovely little view of the hole, and it does look quite nice, that. So it tells me the yard, it tells me there's a water feature on the left, and it tells me there's two bunkers up the left as well. However, look, the hole changed, we're back on the 14th now. Yeah. However, what it's not telling me is on here, it says there's two bunkers on the left, which I think there are, but there's actually two bunkers on the right. So whether or not they've changed the hole and the GPS hasn't been uploaded, it does it does actually look quite good actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a really good shot of it up on screen now so you can see. It's telling me how far 150 is, how far 200 away, how far 250 away is. But for someone like Tom who hits it 350, it doesn't tell you that, Tom. What? It doesn't tell you what's 350 yards away, no. it just tells you what's 250. No. So for you that's no good, is it mate? <laughs> But I do like this, I do. It's, um, there's a couple of flaws in it, like there would be anything, but you know what? I thought that wearing a watch playing golf, it would feel cumbersome and big. There's a word, cumbersome. I thought it'd feel cumbersome and big, but actually you do kind of get used to it a little bit. It's not affecting the shots, it's not affecting the swing. It's nice and light. And what I love about it is they've not, so as you can see there, they haven't plastered golf buddy all over it. It says it a little bit underneath and it says AMW 10 on the top but it actually looks fairly fashionable. It doesn't look like a massive, horrible watch, like a, an old Casio watch that you would see people wearing. You would almost get away with wearing it to dinner. Although I did last night and there was some banter flying around, so. Okay, last hole, we're gonna use each device to the best of its capabilities. And then I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I think about them all, pros, cons, and everything else. So just before we see off guys, I should probably tell you that both the watch and the voice activation do have 40,000 preloaded courses, so there's no subscription to pay. They are completely free, which you know Golf Buddy did use to sting people on, so they've obviously learned from that. And those 40,000 courses are over 170 countries, so chances are where you're going is going to be on there. But obviously they do say to check beforehand, and I believe you can upload different courses as well on top of that. But again, well again, I'll do a little bit of research on that in the description below. Let's play one more hole. The watch is telling me holes 499, it says bunkers left, bunkers right, so I'm not going to lie, that's annoyed me a little bit. Um, I scan the trees, trees the 362 so I can hit driver, and the bunker 279, trying not to forget that again, so I can just about hit driver and move it off the bunker. That's not helping me at all, I'm going to That is absolutely smoke. At least we didn't leave it that time. So as we can see, centre cut, and I did have the confidence to aim away from these bunkers, but only after seeing them on the laser and seeing the distance. So um, the watch, nah, I'm not sure about that on this hole, but what I'm enjoying is seeing myself move on the watch with the GPS and having the hole, as you can see, I've put on here, that looks absolutely awesome. 
Now this is normally where I'd tell you what hole run and how far we've got to go, but Does it Center. for me? Shut up! <laughs> so that's going to be three wood, but how far is it to the flag? 311 to the flag, don't forget that. So guys, I'm not going to lie, every time I use these devices, obviously this is the first time me using them all, I start to find little different secrets, little tricks, little things that they do. Obviously, I have read up on them, but you kind of do find out things by using them, don't you? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the rest of this 18, and then we're going to have a roundup at the end. I'm not going to talk you through it all, because to be honest, you don't need to see the full course vlog, do you? We've got plenty of content coming. 14, 99 yards. 99-yard centre. This is Tom's shot. Let's see how far he's actually got. One second, Tom, I'll give you exact yardage and with the slope as well. This slope thing for me has to, could be the, the winning factor. 104, it's 80, it's 98 playing 104 mate, playing five yards uphill. Yeah, yeah. that's with slope as well. So if you're in a comment, you're getting DQ'd mate. Oh, he played a beauty there as well. Okay guys, so one last shot. This is interesting, I think we've got about about 28 yards but I'm going to be interested to see how long it's actually playing with the slope because for me that's where the money is how far does it play not how far is it because there's a huge difference so you see this is actually 41 yards to the flag playing 45 yards that's a huge difference isn't it from what I'm getting with this oh you know it's just annoying me now we know we know but that's really cool I love the imagery on that Five yards. Not gonna lie, that distance has helped me hugely with that shot around the green, hugely. For me, this could be a game changer. Not playing many events, not playing many competitions. The slope on the laser, I know Bushnell do it, I know Garmin do it, most brands do it, but this is the first time I've actually had one in my hand and used one. It makes a huge difference, it makes a massive difference. So guys, we're going to leave that there. I'm going to go and play the rest of this 18. Then I'm going to report back to you. I'm going to report about which one I prefer, which one I like, and also anything else that I find within them. And I'll also remind you of that giveaway as well. So here we are 18 holes later and what do I make of the Golf Buddy AIM W10, AIM V10 and AIM L10V? That's a mouthful. So I'm going to start with the laser. Remember guys if you do want to win one of these make sure you do comment below laser, voice or watch and you do stand a chance of winning one of these. They are brand new. I'll tell the lights these exact ones here. But I've only used them once so they are pretty much brand new. All you have to do is pay for posting your package and you also have to be a subscriber and hit that like button below. Now Let's start with the laser. For me, I've used lasers in the past. I've used a Bushnell for a very, very long time. And it just seemed like a nice natural progression on. I did like how it gave you the slope. That was a huge factor for me. I've not had that before. And like I said, I don't play many competitions, so that's gonna help me massively. Um, I didn't particularly like the voice on it, so I didn't particularly like... 26 yards. It, I just... Now obviously you can turn that function off and that is something I would be doing if I moved into this, which I potentially might do, to be fair. Because for me, you're just telling people the yardage and if you're playing a comp, that's going to be awkward and everything like that. So that's the negative. Positives, it's a lot smaller than the one I used to use. It's a lot lighter. It's white. It looks pretty cool. Love the colouring of it. And it just looks pretty smart, to be fair. It seems to do everything I would want it to do. It gives you the slope. It gives you battery life. It gives you everything. One huge factor with these that a lot of people don't understand is battery life. If it doesn't give you battery life, it doesn't warn you when it's going down, all of a sudden you get on holiday, you get to where you're playing, oh, it's died. 
brilliant, fantastic. I didn't get a warning, I've not got a spare battery. Awesome. So that's the laser. Now what about the little voice? Because to me this is a cool little thing, it's quite cute isn't it? It actually comes in pink as well, so... Obviously it's got a nice little LCD screen on there, it gives you front, middle and back on there, no problem. Now the more I played around with this, the more I found it did. Because if you noticed in the video I had it on my cap the whole time, I wouldn't wear it on the cap if I was to use it again. I'd probably just have it on my bag or maybe on my belt or something like that. But it's a cool little thing and for £99 I think it's probably quite handy. It depends entirely on the level of golf you want to play. So my dad uses one of these, he keeps it on the buggy, he presses it whenever he wants to press it. 387 yards. And it tells him Center. pretty much exactly what you want to know. That's just reminded me of one of the negatives on it. It just jabbers on. It just keeps going. Like, just tell me. Hole number 10. Oh. 388 yards to green. Center. You see, even there, I thought it stopped. I don't need to know the hole number. I know the hole number. Just tell me the number. Now, there may be a setting in there where you can change that. I don't know. But for me, a little bit annoying. But even if you just want to look at it. So, again, you don't have to press it. You can just look at it. Very, very good. For the price, I think that's pretty cool, so you might want one of those. And as for the watch, the watch, take it off and show you, the watch. Now the watch is the thing that surprised me the most, because I came into this under the presumption that I don't like playing golf in watches. I've tried playing golf in my watch, I don't like it. Sometimes I'll film in it, but I very rarely keep it on because it feels in the way, it feels heavy, it feels clumbersome. There's that word. But this one doesn't feel like that. I don't know if it's a strap, I don't know if it's the face. And I tell you what, it doesn't feel budget. I know it's not budget because obviously it's like 270 pounds, but it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel tacky. It feels, it, feel, it feels like it could be a nice kind of sports watch, a nice smart watch. You can connect it to your phone because I've had a look. You can connect it to all sorts. It acts as a pedometer and calorie burner and all sorts like that. And I do think this strap looks pretty cool as well, guys. So you do get that with it as also the black strap. Negatives to the watch. I did find when I was putting my glove on a few times it was getting in the way and then one time I left my glove on too loose because I couldn't be bothered to change it which you can all kind of understand can't you and from there I hit a bad shot it probably wasn't because of the glove but mentally it felt a little bit because of the glove so um, yeah the watch is pretty darn good to be fair I would have no problems in wearing it to be honest I took it off for a few holes and my wrist felt a bit naked so take of that what you will maybe I need to start wearing a watch because I did hit it pretty good when we played with it so uh, thank you very much for watching that guys my answer to the question is which one would i use i personally think there is a place in the market for all three i think there's a place in people's bag for all three but obviously that's going to get very very expensive isn't it so for me number one would be the laser because that's what i'm comfortable with but then to be fair i think if i was just playing social golf uh, then i would just wear the watch because it is quite handy you wouldn't leave it somewhere and lose it because that really annoyed me and i have done that so many times before the voice, I would just literally have to play with my dad and not too bothered about yardages and just go and play it because it doesn't really give you that much. But like I said, the more I went into it, the more I found. Another point on the watch, actually, I did really enjoy how you could see yourself on the hole on the course. So if you swipe to that side, it kind of tells you which hole you're on, picture of the hole and everything. It wasn't that accurate with the bunkers, but maybe the course has been redesigned since then. So again, laser, then watch, and then the voice. But that's obviously in price order as well. So. If I was going to go two, I potentially would use these two, use the watch and I would use the laser, use them in tandem together and I think there you've got everything covered because if you've got a blind shot, obviously the watch is going to help you massively. If you've not got a blind shot and the chip shot, the, the pitch shot up the hill where it gave me the gradient, I played a great shot in there and that massively helped me. So there we go guys. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Huge thank you to American Golf for bringing us out here to the Heritage Club in Mauritius. What a golf course this is. We film loads of content here all week, so I'm going to bring that to you guys in the not too distant future. Guys, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this content. Comment below which one would you want to win. And remember, you can comment below as many times as you want and you can enter as many times as you want. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.